In this video, we will be talking about Tone Photos, your photo management app for Windows and Mac that comes with your Photosphere. In order to get your license for this photo management suite, you must first register your Photosphere on our website at getphotosphere.com. We will send you a license code. You can download the app and register it while you install it by entering in that license code. You must also map a network drive to the storage on your Photosphere to be able to manage your photos. We have a separate video tutorial on exactly how to do this, so please watch that and map your network drive before continuing. Now that you have your network drive mapped to your Photosphere and you can navigate to it like a normal folder on your computer, let's show you exactly how to add those photos into Tone Photos so it can scan them and start helping you manage your photos. In the app, go to File, Library Locations, and this screen will pop up. Tap Add Location, and then you're going to scroll down until you see the Map Network Drive for Photosphere. You can add either just your backup folders for all the devices, or you can add any of the other things if you created albums or shared uh, files and folders, you can add those as well. We're just going to add the backup folder for now. You can also change whether or not you want to recognize faces, if you want to scan videos or raw image files. I'm going to leave the defaults and hit done. You can see here that it is already scanning the files on the Photosphere. And as soon as it is done, we will be able to um, start to manage our photos, and I'll show you some tips and tricks for that next. Your photos are grouped by folders, events, locations, albums, or people. Folders are the folders that you add. Um, we've only added two for this example, but if you have multiple folders, they will show up here and you can scroll through them based on the folder. Events are going to be timeline of based events. Um, so again, if you have a bunch of different photos from different dates, you can see that they will be uh, listed there. Location, you will be able to uh, zoom in on locations and as you have multiple locations, they will show up here with a couple photos as an example. Albums, you can create your own albums. By default, there will be a recent album and a favorites album. You can favorite um, photos when you're viewing them, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And then last, people. Right now, we do not have any people added, uh, so I'll show you how to do that as well. So let's jump back over here to photos, um, or to fol folders. First, you can double click on a file to open it and to manage it. From here, you can click on the heart to add it to favorites and this will put it to the favorites um, album or we can start to manage people and faces as you can see I hover over this and it will highlight faces and up here in the file information it has three different faces and it's wondering if we want to add a person for this face so if we right click on it we can go to this is new person and Rob so it will start to pull up all the photos that it thinks that this face is in so now under people we can see this information now as we add more albums or as it scans more you may see a question mark over these photos this means that it thinks that that is the person but it wants you to confirm to help it learn the face. Um, let's see if we can go back over here and oh, let's go to the, the different folder. Let's talk about different people. Let's say this is a new person. Oh. And it's going to pull up all the photos with this person in it. Sometimes it will pull up faces of people that you don't know. For example, this person in the background. 
you can right click over this and you can say ignore this face suggestion. This will remove it from the database and they will not be um, added to any future photos. Those, that's just a very basic overview of how to start sorting by person. I recommend that you go to the Tone Photos YouTube channel where they have detailed videos on exactly how to manage your photos through all these different um, options. So this is just a very brief overview of how to add photos and how you can organize them. Again, I recommend you go to the YouTube channel for more in-depth reviews. Thanks for joining me today.